Thank you for joining us in celebrating the launch of the 2019 edition of the National Footprint and Biocapacity Accounts. I'm Laurel Hanscom, CEO at Global Footprint Network. Today, in addition to celebrating the launch of the latest data, we are also celebrating sustainability solutions. In a few minutes, I will introduce our panel of experts, but first I'd like to give you all a very brief crash course on our work. One fundamental requirement for sustainability is to demand less from our planet than the planet's ecosystems can renew. Ecological footprint accounting focuses on this very requirement. Based on UN statistics, it tracks human demand on ecosystems in comparison to what ecosystems can renew. And when that demand exceeds renewal, we find ourselves in what is called ecological overshoot. Ultimately, this leads to the degradation of natural capital, eroding economic and social welfare. Ecological footprint accounts link our planetary context to countries, cities, and individuals' decisions. Since the early 1990s, these detailed accounts have been leading the leading metric to evaluate one planet compatibility of projects, cities, and countries. They track this by adding up all the biologically productive land and water areas a person, project, or population uses to produce the resources it consumes, to house its infrastructure, and to absorb its waste, given prevailing technology and resource management practices. Of particular interest in this calculation is the carbon footprint, which makes up roughly 60% of the total ecological footprint. The National Footprint and Biocapacity Accounts track footprint and biocapacity for over 200 countries and regions going back to 1961. This year, the results are available through 2016. Two more years than last year's edition, thanks to additional years of data available through our United Nations sources. One key finding in the new edition is that humanity's carbon footprint dropped 1.4% between 2014 and 2016, bringing the total ecological footprint down 0.5% over the same time period. But before we get too excited about that, more recent data of significant carbon increases throughout 2017 and 2018 suggest that this trend may have been short-lived. To dig deeper into these trends and much more, you can check out all of the results from the 2019 edition available on the Ecological Footprint Explorer, our open data platform at data.footprintnetwork.org.